All right, let's look at the second game from Saturday night. That was an NFC battle. The 49ers uh, were taking on the Packers. The Packers were the number one seed. The 49ers, um, the 49ers, I believe, were the sixth seed uh, because they beat the Cowboys. Excuse me, they were the fifth seed. I, or no, they were the sixth seed. The Cowboys were the third seed. Uh, they played the Packers. That Another interesting game. I mean... The Packers took the opening kick, drove all the way down the field, and scored. You thought, remember, you and I were talking about this. Yeah. You, you said this game's the, the, well, oh, the 49ers went three and out the next two or three possessions. Yeah, and then didn't the uh, Packers get some more points? No, they or, didn't get any more points. No. The Packers until the fourth quarter, actually. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Well, still though, I thought the game was over. It was. Oh, I thought it was too because the Packers were they were ahead. So, they were moving a little bit. Yeah, they're bit. moving the ball still. Four ers could do nothing. Yeah, you know. So, but but you know something, you got to give their defense credit. They hung in there. Uh, you know, uh, they they played exceptional. I mean, you look at the stats of this game. Rodgers threw for only two hundred twenty five yards. Uh, they only ran the ball for sixty seven yards. Uh, so the Packers couldn't really get anything going. Uh, Rodgers was sacked five times. He didn't throw any receptions, but. You know his his biggest target was uh, Devonte Adams and uh, Andre Jones, uh, Aaron Jones, excuse me. Both had nine receptions, uh, so he didn't get much help from from the supporting cast. They did drop a few passes, some of those guys. Um, so you know, and again, their 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 special teams let them down quite a bit. Mason Crosby missed a field goal. Um, he's missed a lot, hasn't he, recently this year? And he's stuff, he's, but, he's uh, missed a lot. They had one. They had I think it was blocked, but but that's still a special uh, teams problem. Uh, their their punt coverage team was horrible. Uh, on the game winning field goal that the 49ers kicked, they only had ten guys on the field. The Packers. Uh, so you know, I mean, you know, you got to give the. Uh, this is kind of a similar game to the to the Bengal game. I mean, you got to give the 49ers credit. They hung in there. You know, their defense played exceptionally well. I mean, Garoppolo. You know, the guy didn't do anything. He was 11 of 19 for 131 yards. He threw an interception. He was sacked four times. Uh, now they ran the ball pretty effectively, 89, 92. They ran it for about 106 yards, which is okay in a playoff game. It was cold. You know, the wind chill was minus three or four, which, you know, it's hard to throw the ball in that situation. Uh, now early on, I thought, I thought the weather had really affected them. They were dropping passes, the 49ers. Kittle had a pass. Uh, Garoppolo, you got to give him credit. He read it. He, they had a two deep coverage. Kittle ran a little juke out down the middle and cut across the middle. He was wide open. I mean, and, the, and, and uh, Garoppolo put the ball right on him. Had he caught that ball, that's a touchdown. He dropped it, okay? So they had three or four drops early on. But after that, Kittle was a beast. He he had four catches for 63 yards. One of them was a tremendous catch on the sideline to get the 49ers a key first down in the second half. Uh, so they hung in there. I mean, the best thing you can say about the 49ers is they hung in there. They just kept playing and playing and playing and playing. And you know they got into the fourth quarter there, late in the fourth quarter it was ten to three, um, Packers uh, uh, in the fourth quarter. They stopped the Packers deep in their own territory, the Packers' own territory, and they blocked a Packer punt. And again they picked it up, ran it in, that tied the game. So another special teams miscue. And after that it was just you know back and forth until the 49ers made the final drive uh, to get into field goal range. And Robbie Gold, who's you know, as good as gold, no pun intended, uh, kick the game-winning field goal. Um, yeah, I see I've seen, I see a lot of memes online stuff about Garoppolo, how essentially he's, they're winning despite him, you know, which I, I, I kind of like Garoppolo as a quarterback. Yeah. I know he's not the best, but I don't really like seeing all these people hating on him so much. Like, yeah. But I, but I guess I could see that. I mean, people, you know, I, I guess I guess imagine like Brent Burr on that team and they're dominant, right? right I mean, right, so right. I guess if you had to pick a piece that they are weaker in, I guess you, I guess you could say quarterback. But I look at Garoppolo I'm like the guy's gotten to one Super Bowl in his career. Right. I know he threw a bad, horrible pass, all that, right. all that stuff. He's he, he's on the he's on the cusp of another of another one. Like, right. like is he a bad quarterback? I mean, like you you can't argue with the results, right? No, I mean, no, you can't argue with uh, results. And I hope he I, I hope he. I, that's one of the main reasons I hope they get the Super Bowl and, and I hope they win is because I want to see Garoppolo redeem himself. I hope they win the Super Bowl, but not like they won this game with the Packers. I hope he does something tremendous for them to win the Super Bowl so he can redeem himself. Well, I mean, even the 49ers themselves had questions about him, yeah, right? I people, mean, they drafted this Trey Lance or Troy so Lance I see kid. Also, I also see a lot of memes about how, like, there was a pretty funny meme of this, like, guy, like, doing all this trick stuff. Like, he would jump over cars and, like, avoid, like, you know, 
all these different obstacles, like jumping around. And people were saying it was like Garoppolo avoiding the bench, you know, like he's he, he seems like all year long he was, you know, he, he could have been benched at any point in time. And now they're in the, in the NFC Championship game. Well, and, and, and you know, I got to give Garoppolo credit. He, he doesn't give up. You know, I mean, he, he just keeps going out there and fighting. He makes some bad passes, yes. Makes some poor decisions, yes. Uh, but... But he gets it done. He goes but out there and gets it done. For some reason, maybe somebody could tell. Maybe somebody could say, and I'd hear this argument. Well, how is he that much different than Tannehill? Well, I guess I could see that, but I think you could win a Super Bowl with Garoppolo. I don't really think Tannehill is going to like win your Super Bowl. Does no. that make sense? Yeah, I agree. And also something about Garoppolo too. He seems pretty like cool and collected. Like he, he doesn't. Does. Nothing really gets to him. I mean, in the game and off the field too. Like I don't think it bothers him really. It doesn't appear like like it bothers him. What people say about him. You know what I mean? Like he just kind of goes about his business, and he's right. not the best, but. I feel like he has almost like the Montana mentality a little bit without right. being Montana. Obviously. I agree. I agree. But, uh, I agree with and that. Then the, and then the Packers, I mean, you say he didn't get much help this game. But that's kind of been the Packers, I feel like, all year. Like, if if, if, if Rodgers isn't going to dominate the game, they're not going to win. Right, right. Because he's not going the rest of the team is not going to do anything. No, I, I, I agree with that. And and I think, uh, I think one of the things that, um, uh, I think one of the things that benefits, Garoppolo is that he's got a tremendous running game. I mean, he's got uh, Debo Samuel, who probably is one of the more, you know, what's the word I'm looking for, versatile guys in the NFL. I mean, he yeah. can catch passes, he can run on sweeps, he can they can pretty much put him anywhere they want. He's got Elijah Mitchell, a rookie who's played outside of his mind this year running the football. And they got Kyle Yusek, who's... You know, doesn't get it a lot, but when he gets it, he makes something happen, and he can catch the ball out of the backfield as well. Former Raven, I, former I was, Raven. That's I right. Think he went to Harvard too. Yeah. So I mean, I, <laughs> good call. He's a smart. Player. So, so he's a very smart player. So I think that uh, you know he he benefits from being on a team with a lot of good pieces. Okay, and that helps him overcome some of these things. 